Okay, folks, we're in Walmart. We're looking for a very exclusive game, Walmart exclusive, and there's only 5,000 copies made, so we're gonna see if they've got it. Let's go check it out. Okay, so what we are looking for is Tiny Troopers XL. And it is a Switch game. And I don't see any. I don't see any. Are they all sold out? Fortnite. Oh, this sucks. Okay, folks, so we are at a Walmart about 40 miles away from where I live. And I checked online in the inventory, should be able to find this game here. So let's take a look. All right, so online it says they have four copies. So let's see if they actually have them. Yes, there it is, right there. All right, so this Tiny Troopers XL Joint Ops has been limited to 5,000 copies. And uh, it's a Walmart exclusive, so we're gonna grab one. 1993, yeah. Alrighty. That was 30. Hey folks, so I snatched up a copy and they got a few other copies. I could snatch them up and flip them on eBay, but because it's limited, I'm gonna give somebody else a chance to grab, to grab them. But uh, yeah, you can see, there it is right there. Uh, if you see this game, it's a Walmart exclusive. There's only 5,000 copies made. Snatch them up while you can, because they're already selling for way more on eBay. Uh, they're nineteen dollars and ninety three cents. So, on to the next. Okay, YouTube, so just got a package in today, and this was a trade between me and Mr. Tom Apple from uh, Michigan. He wanted my Pokemon Stadium 2 and Forsaken 64 that I picked up this last weekend, and he had a game that I did not have, 
And so we're opening that now. So I traded Pokemon Stadium 2 and Forsaken 64 for a copy of Mystical Ninja on the N64. Mystical Ninja starring Goemon. That's fantastic to find right there. It's in pretty good condition. Um, there is a, a little bit of marker on the back, as you can see, but I might be able to clean that up. Other than that, in really good condition. So thank you, Tom. I appreciate the trade. And folks, on to the next. Okay, YouTube, and another project I am working on is adding another slap board to the media wall. Uh, I have ran out of room, and I've got movies stacked up, just ready to go into the wall. So, that will be done in the next clip, hopefully. Here we go. All right, so got the new section, well, the, the new slat up able to get all of those movies that were stacked up there in that rack put away everything is alphabetized and we've got a media wall going folks on to the next that's what I like the old stuff yeah, I feel you this used to be one of my favorite systems man. I used to play this all the time right on yeah it's still Still my favorite. Yeah, I wouldn't be playing. <laughs> nah, still is my favorite right there. <laughs> I've never played that one. Really? Yeah, I'm gonna have to give that one a try. That game having something else. Was it a shooter? Ah. I can't exactly remember to be honest. I don't remember if it's the one that you're shooting in or not but I do know there was two different games one's Excalibur and there's Soul Calibur so I can't remember which yeah. one was which but <laughs> well Soul Calibur is a, a fighting game okay then yeah I'm pretty sure that one's the shooting fucking okay, ass is pretty neat eh? <laughs> yeah it's like PS3 chat board and L2 to see if they're broken. Uh, yeah. Oh, it's alright. The, uh, I got extra joysticks. If I can replace that with. Nice. Cool. Alright, 20 bucks. I'll tell your dad I appreciate it. I'm gonna have to put it back in there. Yeah. 20 bucks. Well, I've got four dollars. Will you take that for this? Yeah. Okay. There you are. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. How much you want for them? Two dollars. Two dollars for all of them? No, for a piece. Or a piece? Okay. Two, four, six, eight. Let's see if uh. I got some change over here. I'll grab those. You got any older? Anything else? Mm -hmm. You got any like uh, DS, 3DS, Game Boy? I have a Nintendo Game Boy, but I don't have a cartridge. You got a Game Boy though? Yeah. Do you play it? Yeah, I'll take a Can I take a look at it? I'm sorry. I'll take a look at it. You still want this? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's a cool Game Boy. Alrighty, well, I'll grab these then, if you don't want these anymore. So, you got, do you have change for a 20? Yes. Alright, fantastic. What's that? Um, $15. And she's got another one back for the thing. Oh, does it? Does it have a lid? It doesn't. See, I got a snake and I need a lid. Oh. Uh, yeah, I mean, I can make a lid, but I Thank you. 
games. Um, <laughs> if he has anything else, he said he has some stuff at his grandma's or, or <laughs> anything. I, I buy old video games. Okay. Yeah. Um, an Xbox. You got like original Xbox? Yeah. No, no, not original. 360? No, yeah, it's 360 and Xbox One. No, Yeah, I'll yeah. take a look at any Xbox stuff. Okay. Yeah. There's the 360, the Fable 3, um, okay. PlayStation 2, the ATV Off-Road Fury, uh, Fantasia for the Xbox One, and Battlefield for the Xbox One. What you want on the? Good morning, how are you? What you want on that? Uh, it's two dollars. I think two dollars a game. Okay. Yeah, I can do that. Huh? I found some more games for you too. What's that? I found some more games for you too. There's some Wii games. Oh, uh, okay. They're on the bookshelf. Oh, I do have my Xbox game. Are you using the drawer? I just got fingerprints on them. I don't know if you're interested in any of these. You got change for ten? I do. All right. What are we looking at? Four. Uh, six bucks. Back. Um, six. A two, four. Those are six bucks four. back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, <laughs> that's what I was saying. <laughs> yeah, them there ones will help me out. There you go. All right. Fantastic. Awesome. Thank you. Yes, sir. How about showing these three little toys right here? 50 cents, okay. Well, I've got change. One quarter. You got change for a dollar? Yeah. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Have a great day. Good luck with your sale. He loves to play this game. I'm gonna show him. If it hits Cody Beach Beach or whatever. You're the one we've been playing. Yeah, Pat, man. I know, I'm gonna say You said You said $2 for all the chips? All right. Snacks. Snacks for days. Snacks. <laughs> 
Yeah. Good to see you, brother. See you. Oh, all right. all the controllers in the oh, game. Oh, cool. Yeah. Dang. <laughs> I bet you got a thousand on that. I got quite a bit. I um, I started counting them manually the other night. Yeah. And I got like at eighteen hundred, and I lost count. <laughs> it was something making a lot of sales on them. Yeah. yeah. I keep. I keep what I don't have, mm -hmm. and then sell the rest. That's cool. We uh, we said twenty five. Yeah. Cool. Ain't no use for it. Me. It's there you go, brother. Up space. Yeah, <laughs> Appreciate man. It, man. If I yes, find sir. that console, I'll let you know. I, I thought I had it around the house in here, but yeah, man. All right, YouTube, it has been another awesome week. Not as crazy as last week's haul. Man, that was an insane haul. But this week I have stayed busy cleaning systems, refurbishing systems, uh, cleaning games, cleaning controllers, getting things listed, getting things sold, and making that money back, adding games into the collection for free. And that is what it's all about. This week, we've got some really nice titles that I get to add into the collection for free. And we will go ahead and dive on in. A lot of the, some of the stuff that I've already picked up this week has already sold. You got to see that in the sold section. And so if you don't see something here on the table, well, that is why it is not here. All right, so we've got No Man's Sky and Final Fantasy XX2 HD Remaster on the PS4. Also, Fallout New Vegas and Halo Reach on the 360. Uh, this one being the exclusive that I'm primarily keeping. This one being uh, just a, a game that I'm going to keep until I find it on the PS3 for as cheap as I found this one. This one was like $1.80. Um, so, when I find Fallout New Vegas on the PS3, then I will, of course, get rid of the 360 version as I am only interested in... Xbox exclusives. Uh, the Sims 4 bundle, which includes cats and dogs, uh, as well as a full version of Sims 4, uh, these sell for about 30 bucks pre-owned. And I got this for $9, so picked that up and I've got that listed. It has not sold yet, but that is for a flip. Copy of Wii Sports at Goodwill for $1.99. Always a good title to bundle with a, a Wii. Or gather up about four, five, six copies of Wii Sports, test them all, make sure they all work, and bundle them and lot them together on eBay, and you can get about 10 bucks a piece for them. Um, so, yeah, five copies, well, then $49.99. Uh, six copies, $59.99. So on and so forth. Always seem to find. Legend of Dragoon. This is, if I ever find an RPG on PlayStation 1, it's going to be Legend of Dragoon. 
Uh, I cannot escape it. I wish I could find some other awesome RPGs to add to the collection, but however, uh, this one will be listed as I have already got it complete. All right, found some PS3 titles as well. Uh, three I will be keeping, one will be for resale, the Sly collection I already have. So that one will be for resale. The other three I get to add into the collection. I was very happy to find DuckTales today. Uh, ATV Off-Road Fury 4. I don't think I've ever come across the fourth one. And this one was in really nice shape, clean disc, so added that to the collection. Uh, picked up another bundle of Nintendo and Super Nintendo games as well as some controllers. One of the controllers being a first party Platinum GameCube controller that has already sold but these other two controllers came with it. Now, the PS2 controller that came with it had some busted up joysticks. I have a box full of PS2 controllers that do not work, but have really nice joysticks. So I took this one apart and switched out the joysticks on it. So now this one is a really nice clean, uh, clean controller that works. Finally, Sony PS2 controllers are coming harder and harder and harder to find in good working condition. Uh, this little third party Xbox controller, uh, the Sony PS3 keypad, I've never come across that little accessory. But then we got some games. These five games I get to add into the collection, and that is Alpha Mission, Athletic World. Bad Dudes, Pro Wrestling, and Dragon Warrior. Athletic World also being 5-screw, which goes for a little bit more than the 3-screw uh, version. These two are doubles, Metroid and Turtles 2 arcade game. The seven uh, Super Nintendo games that are going into the collection are Cool Spot. This looks like uh, Frank Thomas Big Hurt. What is that? Yeah, Frank Thomas Big Hurt sports game. I hang on to sports games. A lot of times uh, they'll have good condition backs on them. And uh, this one doesn't, but it's a game I didn't have. I'm not scared to add a sports title into the collection. Then we've got Excalibur 2097. That is a side-scrolling uh, platformer. And Illusion of Gaia. I was happy to find that. Also, we got NHL 97 with Blockbuster stickers all over it, as well as NBA Give and Go with Blockbuster stickers all over it. However, this is about a $10 uh, sports game right here. And then we've got Clay Fighter. I had C2 Judgment Day. I did not have the first one. The doubles are going to be Top Gear and Mortal Kombat. However, this Mortal Kombat will replace my personal copy as this is a condition upgrade for mine. And then we've got a double um, on the N64 of Cruisin'. Picked that up today. Um, got all of these controllers. Two Super Nintendo controllers. Three first party N64 controllers. This one right here does have a loose joystick on it. And so I will need to replace that. However, this one's got, uh, I'd say, about a 7 out of 10. 7.5, 8, maybe. And then this one, this one's about uh, 8.5, maybe. Pretty tight joystick on that one. Not super tight, but it's in really good condition. Some 90s toys I came across. Nothing crazy, um, but we do have 1992... Hasbro, um, Super Troll, that can fetch a, a few dollars on eBay, 1994 Saban, this is um, Power Rangers related, I'm not exactly sure the name of this character, I did look him up, um, but as you can see, I don't know if my phone will focus, it says 1994 Saban right there on his leg, on the red leg. And then this little interesting guy right here. We've got 1994 Soma. 
Soma is the the name of the company that put this out. And this is called the Sonic Ranger. Now on the back of him, he's got this little door panel held by a little Phillips head screw. Two watch size batteries go inside his back. And then you can press his belt right here, this little button on his belt. And I believe his mask will light up. Uh, the Sonic Rangers made by Soma were the bootleg versions of the Power Rangers. Now, you're sitting there saying, <laughs> bootleg, that probably doesn't go for very much money. You're, you're very, very wrong on that. Um, bootleg toys can go for just as much, if not more, than the actual uh, toys that they're trying to compete with. Um, if you go on eBay and look up like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle bootlegs, some of those can go for some very good money. Um, they are, in a sense, rare because there's not many of them out there. And um, as a you know, as a competitor to the main product that they were competing with, um, there's not as many out there that were in production. So bootleg toys can go for some money. I don't know much about toys, so um, don't quote me on, on being an expert here. Um, but just from the research I have done, that is what I have gathered. All right, so we've got two more little stacks here, but I don't know where to start. Do I start with the game pickup of the week, or do I start with the movies? I think we'll start with the movies. I'll keep the game for later. All right. So, picked up some Blu-rays, some DVDs, all throughout the week. I had a fantastic Blu-ray haul today. Um, a lot of brand new, sealed, <laughs> never opened Blu-rays. Just like you would find them in Walmart, Target, Best Buy, for $1.80 each. And folks, this is why I can't stress enough, uh, hit up your pawn shops. Um... Not all pawn shops treat me as good as the as my local ones, but uh, I find, found some amazing deals. All right, so we'll start with the the stack here on the left. This is a horror movie called Blood of the Tribades. It looked very obscure to me um, and looked like it might be out of print. However, it's not, but uh, still a cool little limited edition Blu-ray. Horror Pack Limited Edition Blu-ray. So that's definitely going into the collection. Picked up Black Panther. Another Marvel movie I did not have. Harry Potter and the Deathly Hollows Part 2. I couldn't remember if I had Part 1 or Part 2. Fortunately, I picked the right one because there was also Deathly Hollows Part 1 when I was going through the Blu-rays today. All right, then we've got Star Wars Story Rogue One. Now, I believe with this edition, I've got all of the Star Wars movies on Blu-ray, uh, with the exception of um, The Last Jedi. I believe The Last Jedi is the only one I don't have at the moment. This nice little find right here. This is the Lord of the Rings Trilogy Extended Edition. Now, each one of these was $1.80, uh, but this entire trilogy can sell between $25 to $30, bucks, um, the extended edition. There are like five discs in each of these cases. And um, I don't know much about the extended edition and, and what differs, what extra features you get with it. All I know is what they're selling for on eBay. Nice little find there, though. All right, and then the rest of these Blu-rays are completely sealed. So we've got Jurassic World collectible steel packaging for a limited time. Very cool. I love Jurassic Park, Jurassic World movies. They're awesome. One of my favorite movies of all time. I have it on DVD. Did not have it on Blu-ray. I don't think I had it on Blu-ray. Pretty sure I don't. Um, the NeverEnding Story. I'm looking over here behind me. No, I don't have this one on Blu-ray. The Last of the Mohicans. The director's definitive cut. Very awesome movie, if you've never seen it. 
Oh, so happy to find some 3D Blu-rays. The reason I'm so happy to find some 3D Blu-rays is because I get to watch these in 3D on the PlayStation VR. So we've got The Hobbit, An Unexpected Journey. I just recently picked, picked up The Hobbit, but now I've got it in 3D. Aquaman. I'm so happy to add this DC title to my DC movie collection. Fantastic Beast and Where to Find Them. Very, very awesome uh, spinoff story of the um, the Harry Potter world. Um, I don't think I've seen the second one to this yet. So I have to check that one out. We got the Collector's Edition of the Avengers Age of Ultron. Now this includes the Blu-ray 3D, Blu-ray, and Digital HD. So another 3D movie that I get to watch on the VR. Then we got Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. And that's going to do it for the sealed stack. I mean, awesome, awesome finds. Now, if you were to go and buy these at Walmart, you're paying $10, $15, $20 a piece or more, uh, depending on how soon of a release it is. But to get all of these sealed movies for $1.80 each, uh, it's just awesome find. Picked up this series, the Godzilla animated series. Uh, this pre-owned goes for around $10. Um, this is not for sale. Uh, I'm going to keep this for the collection. And uh, this is a Miller Creek release. This was brand new. Found it in the pawn shop for a $1. dollar. Uh, George Clinton Parliament Funkadelic. So that is listed on eBay. Sells for about 12 bucks, brand new. And then the, the next two are out of print. This goes for around $20. This is the 1978 director's cut of I Spit on Your Grave. Um, I watched this uh, the other night. This was the first time I had seen the original version. Um, and to be honest, I prefer the remake over this one. And then this is also out of print. We've got the double feature two DVD set of Breakin and Breakin 2. This fetches anywhere between $15 to $17. I did sell the, the movie pickup of the week, which was the Godzilla vs. Biollante. And that sold for, it was either $32.99 or $33.99. Very, very awesome pickup. Folks, that is why I movie hunt. Because you are going to find gems that are worth some money. That are worth some good money. You know, anytime you can sell a DVD for 30, 35, 40 bucks, that's that's good money all day. Because you can usually find these for like a dollar. And then this awesome little treasure. We got Sounds from the Underground, Tony Hawk's Underground 2, the soundtrack sampler. I've never seen this, but it's got all the songs from from tony hawk underground 2 which is fantastic um nice little find there man that napster logo brings back some memories <laughs> for real all right folks but there you have it there is the pickups of the, you know the pickups of the week there is the haul of the week all right folks and wow i'm sitting here trying to end the video without showing you the video game pickup of the week We've got Tiny Troopers XL Joint Ops on the Switch. Why is this the pickup of the week? Because this is a Walmart exclusive, limited print, only 5,000 printed uh, Nintendo Switch game. Um, people are going crazy trying to find this right now. I searched high and low um, in my area using a website called BrickSeek. And my local Walmart didn't have it. And then the closest Walmart to me that had it was an hour away. So I had to go travel an hour away just to get this. There were four copies on the shelf. I could have snatched up all four and resold the other three on eBay and scalped them and made some money. Um, but I left them there for other people to, you know, pick up and enjoy. Actually, there was... Uh, a man and his son standing there looking at Switch games. I asked if his son was a Switch collector. He said, actually, we are both collectors. So I gave him the, the 411 on the Tiny Troopers XL. And he was like, oh, dude, that's, that's freaking awesome. Yeah, I'm going to grab me a copy for sure. And then there was another kid that was standing there in the same aisle. And he overheard what we were talking about. 
he was like, well, I might as well snatch me up one too. So I think by the time I left, there was only one copy left. But if you can find this, Tiny Troopers XL, this is going to be one of those kind of harder to find Switch games. There were only 5,000 made. There you have it. If you've enjoyed the content, by all means, leave that thumbs up. If you have not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so you get all notifications. Hope you've had a fantastic week. I know I have. I'm Tata Collector, and have a good one.